All right, Operator Bill, up in uh, the state of Washington. Uh, you're sounding good. You're putting me at about a five and nine. There's another station coming up out of Las Vegas, I think he said, in California. And he's just booming in. He has me at about 60 dBs over. Yeah, man, I'm using a Galaxy 99V. And uh, I'm not going to lie, a little bit of extra uh, performance behind that, if you know what I mean. But not too much. Something really, really small. I'll actually show it on a YouTube video. I'll show it on a YouTube video. I'm rolling a YouTube video right now. But I'm using a dipole inside of my apartment, man. And I'm uh, up here in Atlanta, Georgia. I'll uh, show you the video and everything if you want. You can go ahead and come back on the uh, radio right now and uh, give me your handle. And I'll post it up on YouTube. Roger. Hey, Washington State, I still got you in there, Washington State. How about it, Washington? Come on. Right back, 25, 25. Uh, conditions are changing a lot, man. I uh, got you at about an S, S3 now, one a S1 to an S3 now. But uh, what part of Washington exactly? Uh, what part of Washington are you use, are you in, and uh, what are you running over there? What type of antenna are you running? How high is it and stuff? I'm just using a dipole, man, a homemade dipole, two pieces of wire inside of my apartment, Roger. <sighs> And I'm about 75 miles south of the British Columbia Canadian border, okay? Roger, 75 miles south of the uh, Canadian border. Well, you came on up. Uh, propagation's coming in a little better. But, uh, yeah, man, it's just two pieces of wire. And it's, uh, to give you the exact measurement, the total length from one side of the dipole to the other is exactly about 17.22 feet. Roger. <sighs> Roger, Roger. Okay, uh, do you are you do you have the antenna pointed at me right now? Do you have it pointed towards the uh, Atlanta, Georgia, or am I making it into the back of the or the uh, side of the quad? Come on. <sighs> Uh, I'm not catching all of what you're saying, but it's not your fault. It's because of the uh, the type of uh, extra power that I'm running. The uh, little box that I'm running, it has a very long sideband delay on it. So when I unkey the mic, you know, it kind of stays keyed for a little bit too long. So uh, if you can, when I stop talking, uh, just give it a few seconds, then go ahead and respond. But uh, come back one more time with that. Roger, Roger. Okay, I heard you say you got it pointed right at me. Well, uh, I'm still rolling the video right now. It's got pretty lengthy. It's about uh, three minutes, well, about four minutes as of right now. Uh, but if you want, I can still put it up on YouTube so you can see exactly what you were doing in my signal meter. And uh, you can see on YouTube what I'm running. I uh, got a Galaxy uh, 99V, a little small itty bitty extra box for a little bit of power. Uh, it's not nothing big. And I'm also uh, running this off of some PC power supplies, man. Whole setup is running off of some PC power supplies at about uh, 14 volts. And the uh, antenna is just two pieces of wire, like I said. Uh, question for you, though. Um, how do you, do you know a way of a, uh, a dipole that I could actually make that will perform a little bit better? Because all of the antenna calculators that I come, up, come across are nothing but half-wave uh, antenna calculators for the dipole. Roger. Uh, you can uh, add a balance to it and have a little bit. 
Roger. Okay, uh, I was reading online. I don't have a balance on it at all. It's just fed by a 50 ohm coax cable right now. So uh, I read online, though, that if you put it in an inverted V-style or a V-style period, that it actually uh, matches the antenna to the, uh, matches the impedance of the antenna to the 50 ohm coax a little better. And uh, when I did that, that actually worked a lot for me. Uh, SWRs are pretty flat. They're about a one in one with uh, what I'm running. And um, uh, do you want me to go ahead and post it up on YouTube, though, so you can see it?